Today we're on the Ayung River, and to shoot the whitewater rafting, we're going to use the longest zoom lens in our bag, the Nikkor 55 to 200 millimeter DX VR2. Now this is a very versatile, lightweight, compact zoom lens. With the 1.5 times DX crop factor, at its longest, this lens becomes approximately 300 millimeters, which is fantastic for stepping right into the action. This lens is exciting because it has advanced VR2 image stabilization. This means you can hand hold the lens and photograph with four stops of blur-free handheld shooting. That's perfect. And then what you can do is you can keep your finger on the shutter and track the boat the whole way down. The AFC, autofocus continuous, will track the subjects so you can fire them off. Introducing a high-performance ultra-telephoto zoom lens that fulfills photographers' most stringent requirements. The Sigma 150-600mm f5.6.3 DG-OS HSM sports lens. Flagship of the sports line, this lens delivers the highest level of optical performance. This lens is made to withstand the toughest of conditions with outstanding build quality. Dustproof and splash resistant, the lens is made for real world conditions. It can even stand up to ocean spray. The new zoom lock switch lets you lock on to a desired focal length for highly stable shooting, even when the lens is positioned upward or downward. The lock disengages if the lens receives a shock to protect the switch. A firm twist automatically disengages the lock. In addition to the standard zoom ring, the push-pull zoom allows you to respond quickly to changing conditions. Made of rubber, the forward section of the lens is easy to grip. The rubber front of the included metal lens hood helps absorb shocks and protect the lens in challenging environments. This ultra-telephoto lens gives you the power to capture the very finest images anywhere.
Nikon has sent me a challenge to capture surprising angles of some of Europe's popular tourist destinations. I am looking deeper to explore what lies beneath some of the landmarks we've come to see in travel shots. We are in uh, Westminster, London, uh, underneath a passage underneath the Westminster Bridge where you get quite a unique view onto Big Ben. So my current setup right now is the D7500 and the 16 to 80 uh, millimeter VR. It's the ultimate walkabout lens because it goes from wide to zoom, is very fast at f2.8 at 16, goes only up to four when you have to go to 80 millimeters so you don't lose that much of light. So we are at the St. Pancras station or the Renaissance Hotel, which is behind us right now. So again, if you are a landscape travel photographer and you're looking to get as much of the frame in as possible without needing to shoot panoramas or anything like this, this is perfect. And it's the 10 to 24 millimeter. A very light, like most of the DX lenses from Nikon, very, very portable. Also a very decent f-stop, 3.5. Photography is a personal thing. I like to share. I like to inspire people. As a photographer, every picture means something. The most important thing is what is in your mind, what is your vision. It's how I bring the images from my mind and show to the world, show to other people. I think this is my reason of pressing the shutter. This is my vision.